everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. It is a little bit into June and you guys know if you've been a part of my channel for a while that I love to do empties videos twice a year. So I do one in June and December. So I'm so excited to one, talk about all of my empties, my favorite products, if I repurchase all of that, and two, I'm ready to throw it away. I have quite the collection and it's always a little bit interesting when you like hold on to garbage essentially, but it'll be nice to finally throw it away and start a new pile. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I find these videos to be very helpful and entertaining. Not only are some of these products my favorite things, but they're also some things that I'll never repurchase again or didn't like. And I just think that's really helpful and hopefully I can help you guys um, find products that you love and that you can bring into your home and feel good about. And I love trying new products all the time, so it's fun to get to share them with you guys. So if you enjoy these types of videos and love empties videos as much as I do, definitely hit the subscribe button as well as like the video so I know that you want more of these and let's dive in okay so I have about three bags but some of them are like awkwardly filled so I'll kind of just dive in and uh, we'll see what happens so the first one actually I have a little duo so this is from Nexus and it's just the protein fusion I believe in the or the color assure so either one but this is what it looks like and for some reason I didn't love it. I did I remember like specifically not liking this shampoo and conditioner. I feel like sometimes I have very like picky hair and I just felt like with the shampoo it wasn't like really getting in there for my hair. Um, the conditioner wasn't too bad but once I, I have this thing where I finish a shampoo first because I kind of go a little heavy. Um, so I finish the shampoo first and then I whatever like um, conditioner I have left I just use that to like shave my legs. I don't know if that's weird but so I remember it being fine for <laughs> shaving my legs but I didn't repurchase it and I found my fave, so we're moving on. This is a dry shampoo from Colab, and it's the Dreamer shampoo, and I loved this dry shampoo. I originally got it just because it was really cute, and I was at Walmart, and I needed to pick one up, and I loved it. I didn't feel like it had any white residue for me personally, and I do have darker hair, and this isn't like specific for, it, it, like it says it's oil observant without white residue, but it doesn't say like specifically for brown hair. So if you have blonde hair, I'm sure you could give this a try. And I like that it's softly fragranced. Um, I didn't feel like it had a crazy smell, but it still smelled good, which was important. And yeah, I would 100% repurchase this. I haven't yet just because I'm using um, my favorite, which is the Kristen S. But when I need something like a little bit cheaper and easier, I love this one. This is a Nivea cocoa butter lotion and not much to say about this. I love Nivea and I love moisturizers. So this is like always a favorite of mine. I love anything that's like coconut or like tropical scent. I think that's just a really nice scent for me and like just a nice base. And yeah, I love Nivea. They're great. I have one of the many, I'm sure, Dr. Teal's foaming bath salt. And this is the lavender. It's not salt. Sorry. It's just like a bath soap. And this is the scent lavender, which I love. I love Dr. Teal's. I've told you guys about them many times. So nothing new there. And I always repurchase them because it's just like such a nice bottle and you get a lot and a little goes a long way. Um, this is the Kristen S. The Signature Shampoo. And you can see I've just like completely destroyed it trying to get it out. And I love Kristen S. I have always been a big fan of her products uh, specifically the shampoo it's just an easy one there's nothing like specific to it um, which I like when you're not trying to like target a specific problem it's just nice to have a base shampoo so I love that I always pick that up because it's it's a favorite of mine this was oh this was so good I also love empties because it's like walking down memory lane <laughs> in some way but this is the Trader Joe's grapefruit ginger sugar scrub and there was probably like a two month period where I was obsessed with sugar scrubs and this one particular was one of my favorites. So I believe this is like seasonal. I was just at Trader Joe's and I don't think I saw it, but I don't know if I was looking out for it. Um, but I love sugar scrubs. Sugar scrubs are kind of things where I don't really like have to buy the same one every single time. It's fun to try. There's not a lot of risk in trying. Um, in my skin, it's not like super sensitive. So this one for sure, if it's out though, I want to go get it again and you should try it too. Cause it's, it's just like a nice refreshing 
grapefruit smell and it wakes you up in the morning and I loved it. This cleanser was one that I shared with Sebastian and this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser and I love this. I've had this before um, and it's always been like a nice, easy, gentle cleanser, which I love. So nothing too foamy. Um, it's a nice gel and yeah, I've picked it up before. I will in the future because I like having a nice, easy cleanser. This is the Little Barn Apothecary Coconut Mint Cooling mineral mist and this is so good not only is it like beautiful like it's glass it looks beautiful on your counter and like your bathroom um it smells so great there's a little bit left which i guess maybe I, if i tip it correctly it's like so nice but yeah i will definitely pick this up again i got this at ulta um but you could probably search apothecary no little barn apothecary online and uh pick one up because I believe they have different scents, but the coconut and mint is so refreshing, and especially in the summer, it would be so nice. Like after a hot day at the pool, I need to go get a new one. Um, this is the Kristen S. Workable Hairspray. I love this one. I picked this up before, so this is a repurchase for me. I like it because it like keeps my hair in place, but it doesn't like tack it down where it doesn't really move. Um, and so it's nice for like cute curls, beachy waves, very like brushable movement in your hair if that makes sense and yeah i wish it was like a little bit of like a bigger bottle and you can hear there's still some in here but it like oh. okay why are these supposed to be my empties i wish it was like a bigger bottle <laughs> that's my only thing but um yeah i love that stuff and it smells really nice all of her products have the greatest smell and it makes my hair just smell so so good this is the maybelline brow ultra slim uh eyeliner no eyebrow pencil easy i like ones that are like very thin um my leg is falling asleep um very thin very easy for my eyebrows and i'm not too like picky i wish that i was a little bit pickier but eyebrow pencils i don't want to spend a ton of money on them so that one's nice it's from the drugstore easy to pick up um i put a candle in here because i don't know i specifically really love this candle and i have two of them but i didn't save like i don't have all my candles which now i think moving forward i'll save my candles because it's like very fun but i only have two um so this is the aromascape sea salt and vanilla candle and this candle is amazing like it smells so good it's what i want my house to smell like year round it's such a nice fresh scent and so um my mom picked me this up <laughs> My mom picked this up for me originally, I believe, at Smith's. And so it's just like a nice, easy candle to find at a grocery store. And I love it so much. So I got this as a gift, and then I went and picked up another one and burned through that. I love to have this in my office specifically. It's just such a nice, easy scent. And sometimes when I'm in my office, if I have too strong of a candle, it can, like, make me feel really sick. But this one's just, like, the perfect amount of, like, I can smell you. I know you're there, but you're not hurting me. So... I love this candle so much and I need to pick up a new one. Next, I have the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. And this is super, super good. I loved this. I like scraped through it. I love cleansing balms personally. And Versed has always been a brand that I really like enjoyed a couple products. Some I would like enjoy them and then nothing would happen with them. And so, but this one I really love. Cleansing balms are easy to try again because you're washing it off your face. It doesn't stay on too long and I never get like super irritated by them this one does have eucalyptus oil and vitamin e and i didn't get like any irritation from that it took off my makeup beautifully i love it and yeah i just really love this one by verse it's a nice gentle one um this one is a favorite of mine and sebastian's so i watched jacqueline hills i think it was like winter favorites or something and she talked about this mouthwash and i i'm someone who i love to chew gum i love to just like have i mean I think everyone likes to have like great smelling breath, but it's just something that's like, I don't know, I really like it. So I wanted to try this mouthwash and it's so good. Me and Sebastian are obsessed with it. I will say it's expensive. Like it's like $12 for this mouthwash, which I just feel like is a little pricey um so we kind of take our breaks with it like we have we've bought a couple we've used it up and then now we're like taking a little break but i can tell you that there's nothing like this mouthwash it's so powerful and just like get your mouth that nice little like clean burn i love it i love it so much so that's such a good one um next i have my heritage store rose petal um rose water facial toner 
I love this stuff. I have another one in my bathroom. I buy it all the time. I buy it off Amazon. You can get it at Ulta. You can get it at HeritageStore.com. Um, it's a great, great toner. And I've tried other toners in the past. And for some reason, this is like the one that just does it for me. It's very gentle, but I feel like it's like hydrating my skin and helping my complexion and all of that. And I love, love, love. Another body scrub. This has been my favorite for a long time and it will continue to be like one of my favorite scrubs. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. And if I could smell like one thing in this whole world, it would be the scrub. It smells so yummy. It smells so good. And it's so like creamy, but also moisturizing and delicious. And I go through this all the time um, because I love it. Again, we have another smart mouth. Uh, what's it called? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I have a nut, oh no, this is a new product. This is the Kristen S. Working Texture Spray, which I like this. I do really wanna try the IGK, I believe is what it's called, that has just like beautiful packaging and of like beach and stuff. I really wanna try theirs because I like have heard so many great things about them. Um, but I like this Kristen S. one. I just feel like it didn't like do what I wanted it. Like initially it like texturized my hair and then I felt like it just fell flat so quickly so I probably won't pick up this specific one but I do want to keep trying texture sprays because I really want a good one another Nivea product I'm telling you I really like Nivea it's like very easy and nostalgic and I don't know it's very familiar to me so this is the shea butter again it's like oh I guess there's really no scent just like shea butter which I love I love like coconut shea butter macadamia nut all of those like nutty smells i really love for my skin in particular so it's a good one i'm telling you you guys we've loved this mouse wash so this is like a tiny little big sexy hair hairspray um i love this it's a, i believe we got this for a trip um for my friend's wedding and i just that's why i got a little one but um it's one of my favorite hairsprays but one that i tend to forget about a lot sometimes i am so excited about these new like cute brands that I forget about the good staples. So that's a good one. Next I have the Mario Badescu oil-free moisturizer. I love this uh, moisturizer. It's a nice easy one. It has SPF in it. I think like 30. Yeah, SPF 30. Um, it's a good daytime one. It's not like very oily, hence the oil-free, but yeah, I just think it's like an easy, and that's like a lot of my favorites are just very like easy staple stuff. I don't like my skincare to be like too, focused on oily skin or dry skin. I have very normal uh, combination skin. So I don't know, works very well for me. This is the Kristen S Working Serum and it's actually disgusting. Look at that cap. Ew, <laughs> um, but I do love this stuff. I have another one in my bathroom because I love oils and serums. I really love the one from Chi. I can't remember the name of it because it's been a long time because I just get this one. It's very affordable and again, it's Kristen S. And I'm telling you, I love her stuff so much. And if she was ever watching, she could send me some. Um, next we have the Kristen S uh, signature conditioner. This was just like a nice little match to the shampoo that I used. So again, I pick this up every so often. This is one shampoo and conditioner that I go to when I'm done trying new things and I just want to go back to what I know. I love that one. Um, this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with chamomile and lavender. So I love Mario Badescu and I love all their sprays. I'm a big facial spray person and I always have some of these whether it's like travel size in my bag or my purse or a full size in my cabinets like I just love to have a spray on hand so I always repurchase the lavender one actually I repurchase all of them the cucumber the lavender all of them the rose I love them all um this is the way super dry shampoo I can't remember if I liked this so maybe that makes me think that I didn't I do love the way, oh, you can't really smell it, it's just air. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it smelled really, really good. This is another one of the Maybelline um, eyebrow pencils. I love them, refresh them all the time. We have another Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Macadamia and Rice Milk. Again, a huge favorite. This is my favorite deodorant ever. This is the Dove Dry Spray in the Cool Essentials. So it's just like a nice, cool, refreshing scent. And I love this because it dries so quickly, but it lasts like all day. And there was a time earlier last year when I first picked this up when I swear I was just having the weirdest like BO. I was trying like lots of natural deodorant and I just 
I've given up. I like to use like hard hitting deodorant because I wanna smell good, especially in like the summer and stuff. This is the Pharmacy Clean Bee Gentle Facial Cleanser. I love this. I love Pharmacy. They're such an amazing skincare brand and I cannot wait to repurchase this. I'm just using a new one right now from Amazon. Um, but once that's up, I need this pharmacy one. It's so good and I just love all of their like incorporation with like honey and stuff, very antioxidant focused and um, yeah, I just really love it. So that was a great brand to try. I have a Juno Sunday Riley antioxidant face oil. I love this one. I love face oils. I originally got this for Sebastian, but I pretty much used all of it because I loved it. So a face oil is one of my favorite things. This is the Artistry Intensive Skin Care Vitamin C. My friend McKaylee actually dropped this off for me to try and I liked it. It's just that vitamin C can get extremely expensive and this one in particular was like, I think it's up there around like $60, which is pretty standard for vitamin C, but I'm using one from Sephora that's $22. That's like 22% and it is amazing. So I'm probably not going to repurchase that one just because I found one that's really good and at a good price point and it's great. This is another vitamin C um, hyaluronic acid like concentrate and it's a tiny little one and this one was expensive as well. This is from Kiehl's and I don't like this. I like when they're not like mixed with anything. It was like kind of more like a moisturizing cream and I like them to be like a nice serum. So I'm not going to repurchase that. This is the Mario Badescu Collagen Moisturizer with SPM 15. I like this because it intrigued me to have collagen, but if I'm going to pick like one moisturizer from them, I like the original like oil-free one. So I didn't pick that one up again just because I like my oil-free one. This is another pharmacy um, favorite. This is their Green Clean um, Cleansing Balm. And I loved this so, so much. I liked this a little bit more than the verse just because I liked the smell of this more but this one's obviously like a cheaper price point so they're both really good but if you're gonna treat yourself I really loved the pharmacy one oh, I'm trying to hurry so bad this is the way hair care rose and body oil and I loved this stuff specifically for my body I didn't use it for my hair which was like very weird that I just didn't want to but I like my Kristen S for my hair and this was so luxurious on my skin <laughs> and so if it wasn't so like it's not like I'm, I don't remember how much it is for the full bottle but I would 100% get this for my body because it's so nice I actually think I want to get this for the summer it'd be really pretty it doesn't like stay oily on your skin but it just would feel so luxurious this is the fresh deep hydration facial toner and you can see there's like all of this like gunk and rose um droppings i don't know in the at the bottom and that's what made this so annoying i felt like i would just like go like this all day it took forever for the product to kind of like seep through towards the bottom i found that to be a little bit like annoying and at the same time i really love the rose toner that i use from heritage store so this was fun to try but i just I know what I like. I have a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I love this stuff, I use it all the time. I always have this in my makeup cabinet because it's so nice. It's how I like set my eyelids and bake my face. And the loose um, finishing powder, I don't believe that they have a translucent, so I just get the fair and it works for me personally. When I'm a little tan, I don't bake my face in the summer. Um, so this wouldn't be like perfect for me. Yeah, I don't use it too much in the summer. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I love this. I have another one in my um, makeup drawer. It's just like such a great concealer for the drugstore. It's perfect. I have a Nexus dry shampoo refreshing mist and this is unscented. I got Nexus, um, I got this one when I wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner from Nexus and I didn't love it. So they're just not my favorite. I don't know why I didn't vibe with them too much. Okay. I've been talking for so long. My camera just completely gave out. Um, but this is the Ola Hendrickson, uh, truth serum and it's like a vitamin C complex. So it has a couple of different things in there. It's not just like true vitamin C, but I love it. I love it so much. I got just the little sample size and I really want to repurchase the big one because when I'm not using like a normal vitamin C, it's nice to have like some sort of vitamin C. And this is nice because it like 
has like collagen and other things in there I don't really know what else and some other things in it so it's just like a nice cocktail for vitamin C and I really loved it brightened up my skin it was like one of my favorite products this is a little sample of the summer Fridays uh, jet lag mask and I love this mask so much um, and I can't wait to like get more I always get like the little samples because I always think like I don't want to spend that much on a mask but I'm gonna just like treat myself one day and get it again. I love it. Um, I have an empty Clinique take the day off cleansing balm. This was like my introduction to cleansing balms. I remember Patrick Starr <laughs> used to use this to talk about it and love it all the time. And so that's when I like completely fell in love with cleansing balms. And it's just been fun to try new ones. So I do love this one. This one is like the OG best one out there, but I like trying new ones and finding different price points and all of that. I have a vitamin c spot serum from green tangerine it's like goodall green tangerine that's the brand and i love this um this is like a korean skincare brand i loved their vitamin c the spot serum which is what this is i feel like it didn't really do much for me and it was just like a sample size so i didn't end up repurchasing it because i didn't see too much of a difference and then i have a cactine balancing moisturizer by um, skin script and this was given to me when I went to go get a couple facials in the winter time, I went to this lady and she was great and I needed moisturizer at the time and she recommended this to me. I don't go to her anymore so I'm not really like, I don't think I'm ever going to use this again, but it was good. Okay, we're on to the last little bag and I'll hurry up. This is the Versed Gentle Retinol Serum. I talked about this um, a little bit in some like vlogs and stuff and I loved this one because it was like a nice introduction to retinol. I've always wanted to try it but I've always been a little bit scared of if it's like too harsh on your skin or I don't know. I know that sometimes it's nice to like work up to it. So this was nice and I did see a great improvement in my skin. Now that I'm not using it anymore I feel like classic now I'm breaking out um, but it's very gentle it's really nice again it's at Target easy to find and I feel like now since I've used that I'm not as afraid of retinol and I really want to try it because I just want it to help my skin I have another Dr. Teal's lavender um, foaming bath and I love it talked about that before um, this has been a favorite of mine for a long time this is the SGX NYC um, dry shampoo I've used them before and I love them uh, so they're always one that I pick up. I kind of rotate between like three different dry shampoos. <laughs> um, and this is the Dove Extra Hold Hairspray, which I didn't like. I thought that because I loved my exfoliant so much that maybe I would like more of their products, but I did not. Um, we have another Dove um, deodorant, which love, love, love. I have so many of those on backup because I love it. This is the Paula's Choice. 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and I loved this so so much and I don't know why I haven't repurchased it This is like giving me a mental note because I feel like sometimes I forget stuff and I really love that This is the Glossier priming moisturizer and I've talked about this before. I didn't like this I haven't ever repurchased it and I've just always had it like sitting in my makeup thing, but I finally used it up um, I don't get priming moisturizers to be honest. I feel like I'd rather just use a moisturizer That's really nice and hydrating to my skin and it works well for my makeup So this just felt like an extra that wasn't really needed. Um, we have another heritage store uh, Rose toner love it love it love it another Mario Badescu um, Lavender <laughs> facial spray. That's a favorite. I have two sunscreens here both from Neutrogena this one is specifically a face one and it has 50 um, SPF and I thought this was so terrible because it's so white it leaves like such an intense white cast um, so there's just so many better ones out there on the market from Glossier super goop has really good ones I've heard and yeah just ones that aren't so white and that are meant for your face specifically so I didn't like that and then I just have this little baby one that I probably took on vacation um, 70 SPF, which is great to hear. And yeah, Neutrogena for your body is really great. I have another Maybelline Ultra Brow Pencil and a NYX um, Little Eyeliner, which I didn't like. I always think that these are gonna be like 
such a genius product it's perfect you don't need a brush because it's already a brush but i really love to do my eyeliners with a gel pot liner and like a brush so i didn't like that and then this is the vitamin c serum that i was talking about from green tangerine that i loved it's it's so so good and it's in like one of my rotations i have like three vitamin c serums that i love and this is one of them holy cow you guys that is a lot <laughs> That's a lot to get through. Hopefully I can trim this video down a ton for you guys, but I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this was helpful and you could see some of my favorites and some of my not so favorite stuff. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Say hi to me down in the comments. Let's connect and build this community and subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.